creating tables with the tab key in Microsoft Word 2003. It is quite common to use uh, to literally use tables in order to uh, create table structure in Microsoft Word. There's nothing wrong with that, but in some cases you might want a little bit cleaner output um, that renders in the document without the uh, thin lines that you have with the table. It's quite easy to do. The main thing is to create your content first and then set your tabs. So let's uh, let's get started. I'll create a new blank Word document, and as an example, we'll do. Uh, kind of like an invoice for services rendered. So let's say uh, service number one, service and the cost is one dollar. This may seem a little odd at first, but it will make a lot of sense in a few minutes. Alright, we'll just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so once again, I know this looks kind of odd, but it's a little. It's the main, the easiest way to do this is to create your content first, and then set your tab stops, which is what we'll do right now. So we'll select all this text, and we're going to set two tab stops. They're going to both be left aligned tab stops, and we uh, use the tab stop tool in the upper left hand corner here. We'll set the first one at one and a half inches, the second one at four inches. And so far, nothing at all has happened, and that's okay. The reason is because we haven't actually put any tabs in here yet. We're going to do that now. So put your cursor where you want to hit, uh, have your tab. Uh, you hit the tab key, which is in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard. So and watch what happens. Great. So what we did here is we um, put a tab between the, the 1 and the S of service, and then between the N and the dollar sign of the cost, and then we put two tabs between total due and the $5 total. And because we had already set up our tabs for this, if you notice, here's our first left align tab, the second left align tab here. As we entered our tabs, everything just kind of lined up perfectly. Um, we can just, to make this more readable, we can select that last line and put a little nice little border under it so it looks kind of cool. Um, and that's really it. That's how you use the tab key to create a table in Microsoft Word.